So the world, the world needs more Canada. I'll let you all absorb this slide for a, for a moment. Canada, surprisingly, is more than just the great outdoors, hockey, and really, really friendly people. A, Canada has the highest quantity and quality immigration in the G7. Canada has seven of the top 10 technology markets in North America by jobs created. Toronto is number one. Canada is not a resource economy. Less than 10% of our GDP is attributable to energy and mining. Canada has a highly liquid real estate market generating north of 56 billion in institutional quality real estate sales in each of the last two years. And contrary to popular belief, Canada is not dominated, the Canadian real estate market is not dominated by the large pension funds, what we call the Maple Aid. They actually account for less than 5% of our institutional real estate market. Lastly, two-thirds of our energy is from new renewable resources. I'm John McKinley, as I was introduced, CEO of LaSalle Canada, and I'm really happy to be joining you today to talk a little bit about my country, Canada. Um, there we go, immigration. So let's discuss immigration. This is really the driver of every major aspect of the Canadian economy. Canada has been the top per capita immigration market in the G7 for the last 10 years. And it's forecast to be the top 10 immigration market for the next 10 years. Why is that? Canada has a points-based, merit-driven, focused immigration system. So basically, if you're highly educated, you get points. If you're self-sufficient and wealthy, you get points. If you have a job lined up, you get points. And obviously, if you're investing in the country, you get points. So it's working. That works for us. 36% of our doctors are immigrants. 31% of um, business owners with employees are immigrants, and 41% of our engineers are immigrants. So it's not surprising when the OECD measures immigration globally, Canada is number one in what is the most desirable economic category, the high value.